Guys, let's take a look at numbers 37, Sudoku Silver. We need to write a program to solve a Sudoku puzzle. Yeah, so we are assume that given Sudoku puzzle, we we'll have a single unique solution. We have done a similar question of valid Sudoku in number 36. It's pretty straightforward. We use a three array. Uh, to store the occurrence of each number in each row, in each column, and in each subbox, and use a flag to determine whether the sudoku is valid or not. So we now need to fill the blanks of the board. Uh, this is a very basic problem of backtracking. I think there is no other solution. It's just that we just have try to fill the blanks one by one and if you, so here we just check if one is possible if it is we put it to one and then go to next one then one is possible if not we go to two if not we go to three and then if all of them are not available we will go back to this one go to back to previous one and then change to next possibility of this cell so this is just a uh, typical backtrack and uh, if we can finish all the blanks it will be the it will be the one possible solution so let's first uh, uh, copy pay we, we first need to uh, get the occurrence map of each number in, in each condition right so we, I'll just copy the code from 36 valid sudoku and here we don't return false we just get the row okay and now fill the blanks backtracking backtracing or backtracking Backtracking? I think it's backtrack. Oh, yeah, backtrack. Okay, so we need to move, try to uh, fill the blanks with possible numbers, right? I, I think I did a previous question uh, before that backtracking, just like recursion, but pass it. But the but the recursion is passed together with the final result, and uh, yeah, for for our case, there's only one possible solution, so we can just modify the final grid, this map, or this uh, this board, in place. So we don't need to pass down. We don't need to pass down, but we need to re re revert it, right? So, like, if the cells here, there would be no numbers valid for this cell, we need to set it back to the dot to, to, to make it go back to the previous uh, if conditions. There are, some, there are some cases that we don't need to revert anything. We just collect the final result and pass it down to the track method, to the recursion method. For our case, it is not. So, our basic function is just to fill some fill uh, a cell, right? In that fill method, we will loop through one to nine to find the possible and put it there, and then go to fill next one. Yeah, let's say this class of fill and here, and then we fill zero zero. Okay, so when I fill a, 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 a cell, we need to first determine if it is empty or not. This is empty. This is not empty. If that's not empty, we just return false. So it's not possible. And then if it is empty, we will try to 
fit it with uh, 1 to 9. So we can only fill the board if there's no uh, occurrence of this number, both in row and column and in the sub box. So so this number is not used at all. Then we can set number. Right? Yeah, after we set this, fill this cell, we need to go to the next cell. So, next cell is for i, we only say if i j, if j equals 8, then i plus 1. Right? Go to next row. If not, it's still the same row. j is smaller than 8, then plus one, if not, zero. Yeah. The thing is that we need to stop when we met the, uh, when we, when we, when we have filled all the, all the cells. So, if i equals nine, is the, uh, here. So, we return true. But also, we need to stop when we find a possible solution. So, uh, yeah, if this is true, then we return true. When we set the number, don't forget to set the occurrence map. If no number and here we reset we need to reset it to dot and then restore the occurrence map okay so after four all these number if all these numbers are tested and uh, there is still no solution found then we return false also. Let's try to run the code. The answer is wrong. It seems that the it's not the board is not updated at all. If not number, we should not return false, but uh, uh, return few next. Okay, if that's the so we can cache the logic. Ah, there's a mistake in copy and paste. Run the code. Hmm. 
Steel raw answer. Next high. Next J. It's this log I and J. Return false. Or return true. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Zero, 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 two. Zero, one, zero, two. So we set it to number. This actually true. Then fill. Next. <laughs> so zero, two. It stop at zero two. This is no problem. Next I next J. So lock next i next j four i j Well, the board is a uh, dot, so here. Ah, maybe this is wrong. Hmm? No. Number plus dot is used in row. It seems that there's a problem here. Oh god. We had a problem of the occurrence array. Yeah. Run the code. Mm -hmm. Still not. Still there's a problem. This continue. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. This is the problem of the copy paste. What? Let's lock the current map. Three, two.
true. Oh yeah, so dear charisma. Seems no problem. And uh, if it's the empty. Point is five, so we go to the next one. And can, until we match the empty one. Number set it to one because it's not, yeah, this is true. So we set it to one up to the occurrence map. And then go try to fill the next one. If next one can next fill could match the whole graph will return true. Yeah. But not if not, we update it. And uh, we return false. Update the quiz map back to false. Mm -hmm. We log the occurrence. The array is a uh, two dimensional shit. I suddenly realized. So it's still wrong answer. Now the problem becomes it needs to be a string. Okay, we change it to a string and run the code. Accepted. We submit. Cool. And uh, so the so the time. Well, time needs needs detailed calculations. So I couldn't give you the exact uh, result, and uh, I would say that it's just a typical backtracking problem. Remember, if the result is not complicated, like just like a sum, you just uh, pass it down to result here. But if the result is a complicated like uh, something like this one, the Sudoku, or that there's only one single unique solution, we can just uh, do the inline modification, but just remember to reverse the changes. Yeah, that's all for this one. See you next time.